Y'all, there is this six-year-old who lives near Detroit, Michigan, who is going viral. And the little boy's name is Mason Stonehouse. Now, last weekend, Mason's mom went out and left him home with his father. Mason grabbed his dad's cell phone. He opened up Grubhub, and he ordered $1,000 worth of food. <laughs> so the doorbell cam captured a parade of food deliveries <laughs> coming. The little Mason ordered shrimp, chicken sandwiches, pizza, chili, cheese fries, ice cream, you name it, they got it. And so I, this was all of the food. I needed to get more of this story. So here on Zoom with us is six-year-old Mason Stonehouse and his dad, Keith. Mason ooh, looks full from eating ooh. all that food. That's what Mason looks full. <laughs> so, Keith, you got to tell me, how, how did this happen, sir? Well, you know, my son and I have father and son night from time to time. My wife loves to go out to the movies with her girlfriends. And right before bed, <laughs> uh, he loves to play an educational app called Talking Tom. And I decided to let him play in my phone, like he's done a thousand times. Now, I didn't think he was going to order a thousand dollars on Clubhub <laughs> when I gave him that phone. <laughs> But unfortunately, he did, and I didn't know until later. Um, I decided to put him to bed, and he was surprisingly very, very good when I put him to bed. And if you've ever put, to, <laughs> put a six-year-old to, <laughs> to bed, it's not always the easiest, right? So, Keith, so, um, mm -hmm. well, I just want to so know. So I decided to, what's that? Keep going, keep going. So I decided uh, I'm going to put him to bed, and everything was going smooth. And then the doorbell rings, and lights come through the bedroom window. And I was, I was, who is this? And he pops his head up from the blankets. Dad, who is it? He normally doesn't care. So I peek out of the window, and I said, oh, bud, it's just somebody delivering, uh, returning something from your mom's bakery. She, you know, she sets up weddings and wedding cakes and things like that. And every weekend, people are returning things. So I assume that's what it is. And it, his response is, oh, that's it. And he pops his head down, right? So, so I, I go back downstairs and uh, I go pick up the bag off of uh, uh, the porch. And lo and behold, it is not a decoration or a cake tower. It is a giant bag of food. And I bring that into the kitchen and it's endless amounts of chili cheese fries, chicken sandwiches, and ice cream. Now so, that was that was the introduction to it all. I, I, I love this story. I, I got to ask Mason, Mason, were you hungry? Were you that hungry when you ordered all that food? Yeah. <laughs> so Mason, Mason, did you eat all of the food? What did you do with the food? I didn't eat it. You I eat it? I don't know what my pants did. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so what was your favorite food, Mason, out of all the food you ordered? Ice cream and shrimp. Uh, the ice cream and shrimp. So, Keith, this is what I got to ask you. Any, any learning lessons from this, Keith? Yes, uh, just because you think, you know, he just turned six, you know, he's six, he's just gonna go on his app. He's much, and all kids are much smarter than you think, especially with electronics now. Um, so I definitely got the lesson to not only up, upgrade my code and uh, my passcode and not have uh, the app available, but hopefully every parent out there learns the same thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Keith, even if you change your password, I bet you Mason knows your password before you even change it. He did. He did. <laughs> but Mason, I am... And one other thing, Keith, you see why your wife always makes everything so detailed and leaves all of the things for you? Because this is what happens. <laughs> but Mason, I know that you can get hungry sometimes, so we are sending you a gift card so you can order even more food. <laughs> And Keith, hide your phone next time. <laughs>